What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 WWE gimmick matches that should never see the light of day. Not all the time does uh, WWE come up with a interesting gimmick match that actually works and actually has people wanting to see more of it. Sometimes they come up with gimmick matches that are just completely nonsensical and should never ever see the light of day. We're gonna check out some of those instances where those gimmick matches just should just, you know, have never been created. Appreciate all love and support. Let's get right into this one, man. But there have been some iconic match types throughout WWE history, oh. from the Hell in a Cell match to the TLC match. These matches are incredibly popular with fans and are so beloved that WWE even turned these match types into their own pay-per-view beginning in 2009. Nevertheless, there are also some match types that are truly awful Ugh. and the majority of the fan base hope they never return. These match types usually insult the viewer's intelligence and yeah. less than sell a track record when it comes to producing great matches. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE gimmick matches that should never ever see the light of day. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe and There's hit that notification bell for daily <laughs> wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, The Stairs Match. Yeah. The 2014 TLC pay-per-view was rebranded for one year only as Tables, tables ladders, ladders, Chairs, chairs and, and Stairs. stairs. Oh, the Stairs brother. addition into the pay-per-view name was added because one match on the pay-per-view card would be the first time ever Stairs Match. Yeah, sounds incredible. No. The Big Show collided with Eric Rowan in the match and to put it politely, it wasn't good. There'd never been desire from fans to see a match dedicated to stairs, no. mainly because they're a common feature of most matches, and even throwing an opponent into them doesn't usually result in a DQ. Big yeah. Show and Rowan did the best they could with the bizarre stipulation, but the match failed to meet WWE's expectations. They clearly expected the stipulation to take off, but this was the first and only stairs match in WWE history, and it's extremely unlikely that the match type will ever return again. No more. Number 9. The Swamp Fight when the COVID-19 pandemic shook uh -huh. the world, WWE were forced to change the way they conducted their business. Due to no fans being in attendance for Raw, SmackDown and their pay-per-view events, they would introduce fans to cinematic matches. Some of these cinematic matches were better than others. Mm -hmm. Notably, the Boneyard match between Taker and Styles was acclaimed by many, but some matches just fell short. The 2020 Horror Show Extreme Rules event was headlined by Bray Wyatt vs Braun Strowman. This wouldn't be a standard 1v1 matchup, as it would be the first time ever Swamp Fight. <laughs> While some fans praised WWE for doing something new, a they lot tried. of fans believed that this match type didn't warrant a main event position on the pay-per-view. The yeah. match itself was shot like a movie, and it featured cameos from Alexa Bliss and the Wyatt family member version of Strowman. It failed to connect like other cinematic matches, and hopefully WWE will never revisit the unique match oh, no. stipulation ever again. Yeah, that's Number eight, definitely an eye for an eye match. Speaking of the 2020... This match was so fucking infuriating. Talented wrestlers like Seth and Ray should not be just subjected to doing dumb, nonsensical makes no absolute sense whether you type it and put it on paper or actually put it into motion someone should have said hey this ain't it an eye for an eye match where your opponent has to take out your eye for them to win just just stupid Money horror show at Extreme Rules, the Swamp Fight wasn't the only gimmick that debuted on the show. Arch rivals Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins style. competed in an eye for an eye match. This match could have been won when the eye of an opponent was extracted. Yeah, literally. This was a rather sinister match for a PG product, and WWE actually used prosthetics to make it seem like Mysterio's eye was actually removed. Mysterio and Rollins had tremendous chemistry in the ring, but the stipulation was just too much, and a standard Street Fighter or Steel Cage match would have sufficed. Thanks. It's highly probable that the eye for an eye match remains retired, but you never know. One day, WWE could decide to book the sequel to one of the most infamous matches of the modern era. No. Number 7, Kiss My Ass Match. Ugh. The Kiss My Ass Match type has been used a number of times throughout WWE history. Arse. Perhaps the most notable time it was used was back in 1999 at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. The Rock took on Billy Gunn, but the match 
prototype added very little to the match itself. Yeah. The match has even been used in the PG era as two former world champions in Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler competed in the match type at the 2015 Extreme Rules pay-per-view. This match didn't work for a PG audience and the WWE were evidently reluctant to follow through on the stipulation of a wrestler kissing another wrestler's behind. The problem with the match is that it creates a booking problem as someone is always going to look insanely weak and embarrassed so for it's best sure. to avoid the match at all costs. Yeah. Number 6 Zombie Lumberjack Match <laughs> A lot of these are pandemic uh, matches bro I get it and I appreciate WWE for trying something different but you a zombie lumberjack match bro I get it you was trying to promote for the movie with, I think Batista was in the movie. I think I ended up actually seeing that movie. It was, wasn't that bad, but... Bro, what are we doing? This is just so bad. So bad. Oh, my God. Let's promote the Army of the Dead Netflix movie. WWE did something special for their 2021 WrestleMania Backlash pay-per-view. They would have Damian Priest and The Miz compete in a zombie lumberjack match. The match would be a standard lumberjack match, but on the outside of the ring, instead of wrestlers, there would be actual zombies. This match received insanely negative reviews from fans, as well as critics such as Dave Meltzer. One of the stars of the movie, Batista, even told fans to stop tweeting him about the match. What the fuck are you telling me? You think I booked a bunch of fucking zombies? I'm on a damn plane. Didn't you be tweeting, Vince? Hey, Dave, I love you, but this zombie shit on WWE Backlash show. <laughs> Dave was like, why are you tweeting me? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, why you tweet me? You think I booked a bunch of fucking zombies? <laughs> that was, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm good. That was, that was fucking fantastic. Match and informed them to tweet Vince McMahon if they didn't like it. Oh. It's unlikely that the match will ever be brought back. Oh. However, they were reportedly paid a healthy sum to promote the movie in this manner, and with the Army of Dead 2 planned, it wouldn't be out of the question that we see a second installment of the no. Zombie Lumberjack match. Number 5. Blindfold Match on the surface, a blindfold match is an exciting concept. <laughs> Two wrestlers with their vision removed can in theory create a hilarious matchup. However, when it becomes obvious after seeing one of the two of these matches in WWE that the wrestlers could clearly see out of the blindfolds, uh -huh. the magic is lost. The concept doesn't work if everyone is aware of the secret behind the match and WWE have been reserved in using the match type over the past decade, but that doesn't mean that they won't ever bring it back. Please if the match don't. type is ever brought back, it needs to be tweaked or a modern day WWE audience isn't going to like what they're seeing. Number 4. The Kennel from Hell Match uh. On the Unforgiven pay-per-view in 1999 saw WWE debut their most infamous match ever. Mm -hmm. Al Snow and the Big Boss Man would face off in a Kennel from Hell match. This match saw a steel cage getting closed by a Hell in a Cell and at ringside were supposedly savage dogs ready to tear the wrestlers apart. But they The weren't. match was a total disaster as the dogs themselves began to defecate and mate on the outside of the ring and this sinister matchup quickly turned into one of the funniest matchups ever. Mm -hmm. During an interview with Inside the Ropes, Al Snow would discuss the dreaded match this is what he had to say. Because, you know, you've got the entire story centered around these dogs when you can't use them because none of them been, have been trained. And uh, to the point to where they're out there urinating, defecating, and literally fornicating. <laughs> and you can't even show them on TV because of their actions. And now you've got to try to tell a story centered around something that has been mm -hmm. made the focal point for months that now you can't use. Yep. It's safe to say that the match will never return to WWE, but Good. you never know. It may one day show up in the WWE video game installment. Number three, pole matches. Ooh. A pole match that every wrestling company, including WWE, have failed to master is its matches involving an object on a pole. Whether the match be a kendo stick or a contract on a pole match, they are usually massive letdowns. Mm -hmm. One of the problems with the match is that they can be rather anticlimactic, as there is a lot of stalling and wrestlers don't have weapons as they would in a TLC match to perform yeah. exciting spots. 
WCW's use of the pole match is also a big reason why the match is universally hated, as Vince Russo has a habit of using the match in the most unusual ways possible. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, WWE has struggled to master the match, and even when they used the match type on pay-per-view in 2017 for Bayley's match with Alexa Bliss, the match was so bad that it almost completely destroyed Bayley's entire character and persona. Because she didn't want to fucking use a kendo stick. So fucking stupid. It's part of the match. Fucking stupid. Honor. Number 2. Chairs Match In 2009, for their inaugural TLC pay-per-view, WWE would debut the Chairs Match. The rules of the Chairs Match stated that the steel chairs are the only legal weapon in the match and due to WWE being a PG product, this limited what wrestlers could do as chair shots to the head were strictly yeah. prohibited. The first chairs match would be between Batista and The Undertaker and the match was incredibly awkward as the concept just didn't work. Mm -hmm. There have been several chairs matches over the past decade and the majority of them have been terrible. The concept simply didn't translate well and nobody was ever crying out for a gimmick specific match relating to a steel chair. I ain't gonna lie to you. In the days on onto some uh, palm chairs, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's a cool ass, cool little spot. Granted, it hurts Baron Corbin as well. But it's still the opponent definitely not getting up from that. Oh, bro, that that is a cool little spot. And number one, nice. the Punjabi prison match. I'm okay with this the being number prison one. Is one yep. of the most unique structures in well, WWE actually, history. I'll change but the match type I'll change. itself has resulted in some downright awful pay per view matches. The concept was first used in 2006, and the Punjabi prison features two bamboo cages, and the first wrestler to escape the two cages wins the match. Mm -hmm. The match type is confusing, but it also lacks a sense of brutality that was needed for a match type of this nature. Yeah. Additionally, one of the major flaws in the match was that it was notoriously hard for fans in attendance to see what was going on, meaning that all three of the Punjabi prison matches have been met with a lukewarm response. Mm -hmm. The last time they used the concept was back in 2017, and the match was heavily panned by fans so it would be nonsensical for them to bring back the match type please don't all three of the punjabi prison matches have been linked to the great carly in some way and with carly being out of the wwe for a number of years hopefully the punjabi prison match remains retired for good for sure but there you have it folks my number one pick still would be that eye for eye match because that that's just no bro sneaking in ray quote unquote almost lost his eye it was a fake eyeball it was just awful and then close second would probably be it's either it's either that one or you could choose the the zombie one the zombie lumberjacks that's just all right that's turn off your tv inducing bad like get this shit off my screen man so but comment down below let me know what other gimmick matches uh do you feel like should never be seen on wwe television ever again and would you replace the number one spot even though the uh punjabi prison matches they they've never been good or whatnot uh the concept and how it looks looks cool but in execution it usually doesn't work that way so that's why i would rearrange some of these matches to be number one whether it's the eye for eye match or the zombie lumber lumberjack match they would probably be number one on my list or equally as bad. But I appreciate all the love and support. World 250K. And I'm still the undisputed YouTube person of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.